We often talk about search engine optimization and how you can get as visible as possible on Google and other search engines. But what about if you want to hide your entire website or specific pages or posts from, for example, Google? I'm victoratvmundo.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do just that. You'll find all the links and resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com and if you're watching this on YouTube you'll find the link in the description below the video. So let's start by checking out which pages Google actually has indexed from your website and this is a really simple task. I'll just head over to google.com and then I type site column and uh, I can type any domain like wordpress.org and I hit enter. So now I can see that Google has indexed over 2 million pages and posts from the domain wordpress.org. So I can do the same for site column divimundo.com and I can see that they have indexed 255 pages and posts. This is pretty cool. It's a nice way for you to see what's actually indexed by Google and maybe you find some stuff here that you don't want in Google to index. So um, that's what we are going to take a closer look at now. First off, we are going to check how you can hide your entire website from Google and other search engines. This is actually a native feature in uh, WordPress. You don't need any plugins or custom code for this. You just go to your WordPress dashboard and you head over to settings and reading. Now you have in the bottom search engine visibility and the checkbox says discourage search engines from indexing this site. And I've already checked this because this is my test site, but it would look like this probably if new fresh WordPress installation. So to hide it from Google and other search engines to just tick this box and you click save changes. Okay, so a few questions here. Is this 100% safe that search engines will not index your website? No, it's not. As it says in the text below the option here, it is up to search engines to honor this request. Well, that sounds like a bulletproof plan. So this adds some code to your website globally, telling search engines not to index it, but there might be search engines out there that will not honor this request. So if you want to be 100% sure that no one finds your website that's not intended to find it, I recommend that you password protect it. Another common question is how long does it take for Google and other search engines to update their index? That depends. It could take a few hours, a few days or even weeks. So if you are in a hurry to remove it from search engines, I would recommend password protection. And you can also go to Google Search Console and uh, you also have Bing Search Console where you can remove pages temporarily. What if I want to hide a specific page or post or product or maybe category or a tag, author page, 404 page, anything specific from search engines? Well, there is no native feature for this in WordPress. Uh, one option is to use your robot style and add some custom exceptions there, but I prefer to use an SEO plugin like Yoast SEO or Rank Math SEO because I would say that 95% of all WordPress websites already have these plugins installed. So it's much easier to use these plugins than custom code. So let's start by using Yoast SEO. I'll head over to plugins and I'll add a new plugin. Search for Yoast SEO. So this is the original WordPress SEO plugin. It has over 5 million active installations and you can see the ratings, 5 stars, 27,000 reviews. It's so big you wouldn't even believe it. However, this is not my favorite plugin, so we will come to that in the next step. But uh, let's go for Yoast SEO for now. So I click install now and I click activate. So I'll start by hiding my post using Yoast SEO. I'll go to post. So we have the hello world post. So this might look a little bit different depending on which 
page builder you are using. So I'm here in the Gutenberg default block builder in WordPress, and I have this Yoast SEO box in the bottom of my content. So to hide this post from search engines, I will scroll down, settings, and find the advanced tab. Now I can choose allow search engines to show this post in search results and default yes and i can set it to no now i can click update in the top right corner and the search engines are now told to not in there you could also hide entire post types categories or taxonomies we will exit this post i'll go to ghost seo and general and from here i can click search appearance and there are a lot of options here but we will focus on hiding the content from search engines so i'll go to content types and now i can say the posts not be displayed in search results and i can scroll down and i can do the same with pages probably not make sense but possible and I can do it with custom post types like projects that are added by Divi. So maybe I don't use projects in this uh, site. So then I would prefer to not show it in search results. Now I can go to taxonomies and that's categories and tags. So maybe I want to display my categories, search engines, but I don't want to show my tags. I choose off and we also have post formats. And also we have the project categories and project tags. Since I don't use projects on this website, I'll set off. And then we have the archive. So I click that tab. So that would be like the author archives showing all the blog posts by a specific author. And if it's not a blog portal that you're working on, I would suggest that you turn that, turn that to off. So show author archives in search results off. And we have date archives. I set that to off as well. And we save the changes. Let's do the same thing with my favorite SEO plugin, Rank Math SEO. So we'll head over to plugins and I will simply deactivate Joast SEO. I will delete it. Now I will add a new plugin. I will search for Rank Math SEO. And here we have it. So this one has 1 million active installations and 5 stars. So this is a big upcomer that challenged Yoast SEO since it's a fresher one. It doesn't carry as much bloat as Yoast has been growing over the years and it's a little bit overwhelming to go through all the settings and there's a lot of code in there. So I prefer Rank Math SEO. I think it's more agile uh, and also it has a really nice integration with the Divi Visual Builder. So I would say that everything you can do with Yoast SEO, you can do with Rank Math. So I'll install Rank Math SEO and I'll activate. Now, if you have used uh, Yoast before and you install Rank Math, you can import all your Yoast settings to Rank Math. So you don't have to do it all over again. So that's a nice feature. But in this case, I'll head directly over to Posts and I'll go to my Hello World. And uh, this looks a little bit different now. I don't have this big box below my content, but I have my little rank math box up here. So if I click this box, then I have my rank math options. And from here, I can pick the advanced options. And from here, I can show no index. And this is the same way for pages, posts, products, and custom post type. Now I can just click update. And we have saved our settings. I would also like to show you the Divi Builder integration. So you maybe spot something new in the bottom of this page. First, we have the purple little menu ball here from Divi. Click that, it will expand. But we also have a new one here, blue one, and that's the Rank Math integration. So if you click that little button, and in here you can make your SEO settings without going through Gutenberg or the classic editor. So if I click the briefcase, advanced settings and here you can choose no index but since we did the setting from uh, Gutenberg before it's saved of course but here you can change indexed or no now I can just click save okay so what if I would do the same as we did with the Yoast SEO earlier I would like to hide post types or taxonomies or archive pages well that's straightforward with rank math I just exit the visual builder 
and I'll go to my WordPress dashboard. Now I have a rank math and I'll click general settings. Now I click titles and meta. And from here, I can set no index to my entire website if I would like to. So that's the same thing that you can do from uh, appearance and in settings in WordPress. If I scroll down, you can see that I have different post types listed. I have posts and pages, attachments, and my custom post type project. So if I click posts, now I can scroll down and I can open the post robots meta option. Now I can say that the post type post blog post should not be indexed by search engines. And I can save. And the same thing for projects. You can also hide different taxonomies from search engines. For example, my project categories. If I click that one, see enable project category archives robot meta. And I can say no index. And then we have some other interesting settings as well. If we go up to the top here, we have post formats. And this is the archive pages for different post types. And I can choose to um, set them to new, no index. And the same thing go for the author pages. I can also set them to be no index. And we have uh, the MISC pages. This is the 404 page, the search results page and date archives, but we can also do some other uh, neat settings here. We can say that no sub pages should be indexed by search engines, if that would be relevant for you. You can say that uh, no paginated pages should be indexed by search. So this could be a positive thing for your SEO to remove pagination pages from the search results. And uh, last, maybe least, we have uh, the password protected pages. And that's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming your way. Thank you for watching.